What's up, guys? I was gonna make a story about this, but I just couldn't. I, I, I was like, nope, I gotta I have to go live because I gotta share a little more on this because I feel like in, in, in honor of LGBTQ Awareness Month, I thought, thought this is a really important topic for mindset, the mindset community. Um, so lots of conversations about this with my kids, friends, and things like that. And this is my thing. This is why I'm bringing this up because I'm a big lover of freedom, in case you haven't noticed. And I have seen some um, distortions, I would say, or some just some misaligned thinking of people that are like, I'm all about freedom. I'm all about like, you know, maybe you're anti-mandate and you're like, no, I'm going to do what's right for me. Like I should have the freedom to do what's right for me. And then we have all this prejudice against trans people, bi people, lesbian, gay. <laughs> and it's just like, I'm like, hello. That those two things do not equate. If you're all like pro freedom and people should be able to do what they want, and you're sitting there inserting yourself on other people's lives, telling them that they can't be trans, they can't be gay, they can't be bi, and all of these things, you are a hypocrite. That doesn't make any sense. This is my biggest beef with like all of the honestly, it's like religious indoctrination, fear, judgment, prejudice. It's so freaking bad on this community. And like, I mean, it causes suicide, like, hello, trying being a trans black woman, like the suicide rates are astronomical and it all comes from fear, fear and indoctrination and programming. And my biggest question is what's it to you? What's it to you? What somebody, how somebody else feels like we're over, you're over here doing your life. And somebody over here, not only are they having to be brave AF to just be who they are because of all this bullshit programming and fear around these things, but these people are like, I am in love, you know, maybe it's a guy and he's like, I'm in love with this guy and you're over here and you're, you're like, no, you can't be. It's like, what's it freaking to you? Get out of their freaking business. Let them be who they are and love who they want. So that's my message is like, if you're all pro freedom and like people should be able to do what they want with their lives and you're still sitting there judging people and thinking, you know, what's better for them in terms of who they love or what gender they resonate with, or maybe they don't resonate with a gender at all. What's it to you? I have seen way too many cis people, I guess, you know, you probably, maybe you don't like that word cause it's a new word and you're getting freaking old and you can't like stay up with the times and understand what cis means. But cis, cis means I was born, like, traditionally female, and I feel female and all that, you know, typical programming. <laughs> but, like, if you're all pro-freedom and you can't let people just be who they are, and you got all these mm -mm, resistances, like, it, they shouldn't be like this, or maybe you got religious shit and you're like, oh, it's Satan is deceiving them and tricking them. Like, you're, you're inserting that you know better for them for their life than what they feel on the freaking inside. Right. And I will shout out the health community right now. Cause I've been honestly extremely disappointed. I've seen so many freaking jokes about trans people and pronouns and gender identity and all this stuff. You guys are being freaking assholes about this. Some of us have family that have been going through deep struggles with this. And then you're showing up making fun of making fun of, I identify as a, coconut or whatever it's not funny and it's not cool and like imagine that you were going through some of that stuff yourself and then you see people hee hee ha ha online so think about it i'm just raising some awareness okay <laughs> and you know what people are like i know a lot of with the, the trans the huge um surge in trans genderism i know a lot of people are like i trust me i've been i've done a lot of research on this shit okay so like i know it's like oh it's just social programming from the internet and all these things and all these fears but try this one on for size try this thought maybe this has been going on for the duration of humankind but there's been so much hate and so much prejudice and so much freaking fear that people live out of alignment with themselves for their entire freaking life out of fear of what other people think Maybe that's just ending. Maybe people are finally being allowed to just be who they freaking are. And my biggest question on this and the mindset community, the freedom loving community is what's it to you? What's it to you? Why do you care? What is the fear? Usually when we want control over something that we have no control over, it's because we're afraid. So what is it? You afraid your kids are going to be gay or trans? You afraid? I don't know what you're afraid of, but like that 
it, I know it's fear. When we want to control other people, it's out of fear. <laughs> so that is my thought. Yes, thank you. That's my question. What's it to you? Let people be happy. Let them be them. Let them do what they freaking want. You're trying to insert yourself on it. You look stupid. I'm just being real. It's none of your freaking business. <laughs> and this, and how many children have to die? How many adults have to die? How many people have to kill themselves before we can shut up and just listen and let people just tell us how they feel? And it's like, wow, okay, thanks for sharing that with me. I learned something today. <laughs> Not, no, mm-mm. You're a sinner. It's like, dude, this is such antiquated way of thinking. I can't even handle it. Can't even handle it. Be open-minded and get out of other people's business and support them and just letting them go through their freaking path the way that feels aligned for them. Okay. That's why I brought this up in terms of mindset because I just, <laughs> I'm like, people, you can't be pro-freedom and then think you know what's better for other people in terms of how they feel in their sexuality or gender. Oh my God the worst dude <laughs> it's like be quiet and listen and learn because if you aren't trans if you aren't bi if you aren't gay lesbian like you don't know you literally have zero context for what that's like so maybe get curious and close your mouth and listen and listen to people instead of thinking you know what's better for them and just inserting all your opinions and indoctrination and brainwashing that's been going on for 30, 40, 50, 60 years of life and telling them you know what's better for them when you have zero context for what they're going through. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go work out. Bye guys. <laughs>